Hello and welcome to Life Tips with Pastor Garth, where I take common, ordinary, everyday life tasks and I find ways to perform them more efficiently, more comfortably, or more cost-effectively. In this episode, I'd like to explore some alternative methods of transportation. So let's get started. As many of you probably have noticed, gas prices are once again on the rise. So I thought to myself, there has got to be a way to get around town more cost-effectively than a gas-guzzling car. The first thought that came to my mind was a hot air balloon, so I found a wicker basket, a torpedo heater, and some old bed sheets, and I whipped one up. The only problem is, bed sheets are much more flammable than you might think. So that idea went up in flames. The next idea came to me as I was walking around the bus barn behind the church, and I saw an old leaf blower. Now the first thing that comes to my mind, as I'm sure it does to yours, when I see a leaf blower, is a hovercraft. So in this episode, I'd like to show you how you can build your very own hovercraft out of common household items and things you probably have lying around anyway. The first thing you're going to need is a piece of plywood, a leaf blower, some miscellaneous tools, and a tarp. You want to cut the plywood to whatever desired size and shape you would like your hovercraft to be. In this case, I made mine four foot by three foot for no real reason other than that was the size plywood I had to work with. Then you're going to want to round the edges so that later on when we put the tarp on to act as an air skirt, it won't get caught and ripped on the corners of the plywood. Next, you need to cut a hole to mount your leaf blower on top of the hovercraft so that it blows air out towards the bottom. Then, lay your hovercraft out over the tarp, overlap the tarp on top of the hovercraft, attach it with plenty of staples and duct tape so you get a nice airtight fit, and then flip your hovercraft over. Find some sort of material, in this case I use plexiglass, that you can make a strip and attach it to the middle of the tarp so it holds the tarp to the bottom of the hovercraft. Then make a number of circles and cut them out around this material so that the air will flow out of the hovercraft underneath, creating a donut of air on which the hovercraft is going to float, thus making it a craft that hovers. Now I tested it out in the gym and I was pleased with the results. As you see here, it's fully functional. It does what it's supposed to do. It hovers. However, it does not steer and it does not drive itself. Since this build took a little longer than I thought this week, I thought we'd make two episodes of Life Tips with Pastor Garth, the Hovercraft Edition, and in the next one, I'll show you how you can mount a fan with rudders that will not only propel the hovercraft forward, but it'll be fully steerable. So tune in next time to see Hovercraft 2.0. Thank you for joining me on Life Tips with Pastor Garth.